Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're looking at Psalm 81, verses 8, 9, and 10. So if you have your Bible, hope you'll come in here and sit down with me, open your Bible up, and we'll get started here. Remember, this is Daily Dose Radio. That's right, five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. And this is just a wonderful psalm. It's a psalm about considering your ways. The people, they just do what the people do, just like us. You know, sometimes we don't put a whole lot of thought into our celebrations. We don't put a whole lot of thought into our going to church, singing our songs and our hymns. But the Lord thinks about it, and He wants to speak to us in those moments. So I asked you the question yesterday, what are you doing when you go to church? Or are you going to church? Because if you don't go to church, friend, you're missing out. That's where you, that's where you meet Him publicly with the congregation. And it's important to do that. It is important that we gather together at the appointed time so that we can sing and praise our wonderful God and think about all that he's done. Now, he's thinking about it. He said, you know, he told us there in 6 and in 7, you know, I removed the shoulder. You called me in trouble. I delivered you. I answered you. I proved you. Now, today we're going to look at, and we have the Selah there. Of course, we're to think about all that. But today we continue. He Well, actually, the Lord continues to think about and to remind us of this history. So let me read 8 through 10. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee. O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange gods be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange god. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Well, do you see anything familiar here? <laughs> so much is familiar here. First of all, verse 8 reminds us, it uses some of the same language as the Shema, that is, the Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. And then 9 and 10, we have Exodus chapter 20, the Ten Commandments. Beginning there in verse 1 all the way down through verse 6, 7, we have the something that's very much like what we have there in the in the commandments no strange god no any strange god you should not worship any strange god so no strange god be with thee or in thee notice that there shall no strange god be in thee if you have a strange god in your heart thou shalt not worship any strange god I am the Lord thy God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt that comes straight out of Exodus chapter 20 Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. What a wonderful promise that is. So the the Lord reminds the people of their redemption. He bought them from Egyptian slavery and brought them out of Egypt. You know, he removed the burden from the people. They called to him. He delivered them. He answered them. He proved them. We're at Meribah as we end seven. Now we come to eight. And notice that we're entering into covenant. So he redeems his people, and then he enters into covenant with his people. That sounds very familiar, doesn't it? And so the covenant is, no other gods. I am the Lord your God. I'm the one that brought you up out of the land of Egypt, referring back up to 6 and 7, and all that experience, you know, and all he has to do is just mention it, suggest it, and they remember it, because he's told them not to forget. So I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. He wants to be the one that provides for his people. He provided for them redemption. Now he's providing for them a covenant. They're becoming something more than just a people. They're becoming his people and a nation that looks to God. He's entering into covenant with them. Now, tomorrow we're going to look at 11 through 13, and we're going to see something very sad. We're going to see, again, another change in the way, the direction of the psalm. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we look at verses 11, 12, and 13 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, 
check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.